Hello everybody and welcome to another FlexBoard View release. This is a feature release for version 5.0710. The main new feature that we have is the library cache system. The library cache system can be accessed through program preferences, library cache. The point of the library cache is if you're a person like me, you have a lot of different board view files and it can be difficult to remember where you've put them half the time. All you're trying to find is a particular board number, but you don't know which folder you put it in or which drive or which share or anything like that. So the purpose of the library cache is to give you a single point of search. We already have here two different paths and we can add a new one in. I'm going to go put in our Apple one there, select. We don't have any board views in there at the moment, but if we hit scan very quickly, we've got 238 additional files in there. So we're done. To use it, instead of the old way where we click the open and it bring up the file dialog, we now just start typing in what we're looking for. So if we're, say, looking for the iPhone 13, phone 13, and as you can see, We've got our options already straight up. Click on that. There we go. It's all loaded. This can be very handy for when you're looking for some obscure board numbers like 6050A and you find there's all these different varieties around. And if you're not sure which one it is, so click on that one. And if you go, oh no, that's not what I was after. And you try another one. And you go, ah, yes, that is what I was after. So your search string persists between the different loadings. This I found to be a useful facility. If people want it to be cleared, the easiest thing to do is just wipe it out, and start again. Say we're after a 820-0165. Good old classic MacBook A1466. Another thing to note is that there is this prefix in brackets here, which tells you which resource of cache it came from. So if you've got here, we've got boards, XZ dump, Apple. And if you go into the settings, program preferences, you can see XZ dump, boards, Apple. It prefixes with the last parent folder. Now, if you ever add more files to a particular repository, you can just go back and hit scan again and it will go through and, and it will refresh. Another recent feature that I'm just going to throw in here now while we're in the video, and that is if you click on a particular network, up here there is a fast select showing you all the different places where that network goes in one single window. Now you'll notice as I'm moving up and down on this list, it also shows you on the minimap where those things are located. And if you click on any of them, it will just go to that location. And if you double click on, say, R7150, it will then search in the board as well. All right, that's everything for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or you have any comments, leave them below and I'll hear from you later.